Hey guys, this is a neat trick that you can do inside of your PBX in the Flash. And that trick is to add bulk extensions and bulk DIDs at the same time inside of your interface. What this is good for if you want to implement many different extensions at one time. Or you want to make uh, big changes at one time with your extensions. And you can also do this with the DIDs as well. So you have the option of making major changes to all the numbers that's coming in and all the numbers or all of the extensions that's registered on your device. So when you click on the tool section on the left hand side of your PPBX, there is an option there that says bulk DIDs and bulk extensions. We're going to do the bulk extensions first. When you click on this option, it will give you a few rules that you might want to look through before actually implementing this uh, this change. One of the big things is when you download the template, you might want to scroll to the bottom of this page and look over the bulk extension file columns just to make sure that you have it set correctly and be sure to look over the details so you know which field is being modified and will automatically add. Now once you add all these fields, the fields that you're looking for, or the fields that you're making the change, you can resubmit that CSV file back into the PBX and it will automatically create the extensions. So I already have a file selected. I already have two files actually that's done up already. Um, but when you click on the book extensions, you will see the CSV file. Just look through that, it will give you the guidelines. But this will show you where we're coming from. Right now this box has no extensions as you can see. So when we go to the bulk extensions and let's upload a file that I've already uh, completed. Okay, I believe that this file had a few uh, edits and there is opposed to ads, but we're going to find out. Okay, now if you see on the right hand side of the page here, you will see the extensions that were just created. Now we went from having no extensions to over 10 extensions automatically set up inside of your PBX. So from this point you can actually have the devices extension, the IP phones, cell phones, it doesn't really matter to register up to your PBX here and it should register just fine. The idea of this module is that let's say you want to make all the changes for let's say you want to make a global change or some of the RTP settings inside of each extension, they're all the same. You can actually resubmit that inside the bulk extensions, and instead of using the add, you can use the edit. So it will only edit the field that has been changed. And within seconds, you can actually have all of the extensions set up at once. But of course, this only works best with you have if you have more than maybe 10 or 15 extensions. Well, let's say you have 30 or 40 extensions and you want to make changes that way. This is a very neat trick to save your technician a lot of time. Now, you can also do that with the bulk DIDs. Now, I won't be showing that to you, but it will be set up the same way as the bulk extensions. You will export the DID CSV file and make sure you modify all of the files as such. Well, actually, I can show you what one of the files look like. Let's do that from scratch. I don't think I have that somewhere. Hold on. Now, there we go. Uh, let's click on this one.
Okay. All right. Sorry for the wait there. My PC is a little bit slower today. Now, this is what the actual file will look like once you export the file. You have different add action extension name. You have different fields on the very top here. You want to look through those just to make sure you have everything that you want inside of the extension. I left this one a little bit bare. Uh, I just have mostly the secret information and the extension information as a generic setup. So like the voicemail option I don't have set here but you can set all of this but you have to scroll through a lot of the collars and roles here and just put in what you're what you desire. Once that is done you can save it and upload it back to the PBX and that's where it will actually create the extensions. I think there is a limit I want to say maybe 100 to 150 extensions at once but you cannot quote me on that. Um, but that is the way it saves the CSV and that how it's actually implemented inside the other PBX. And just remember that the bulk DID section is the exact same thing. Of course, the field is a little bit different, but be sure to download the sample CSV file and populate accordingly. And guys, that is it for this video, and I will see you.